Our guest today is Moritz Heuberger, former spokesman for the German Green Party's youth organization. Welcome to the DW interview. Hello. Mr. Heuberger, tell us why you joined the Green Party. I decided to join when I was 17 or 18. I was finishing school. I was interested in politics and looked at different parties. The Greens were closest to what I was looking for, a party that thinks beyond national borders and focuses on things beyond its own well-being. The Greens don't see politics simply as parliamentary work. They're prepared to go out and campaign for their beliefs, and not just at election time. Any Green role models? Not so much people. The Greens had a lower profile back then, around 2005 to 2010. But at that time, I was reading a lot of stuff that was critical of globalization. I also read about ecology and things like that. I became political primarily because of issues, not people. Did your parents support you or did they warn you not to go into politics? Not really. My parents tend to switch back and forth between the Social Democrats and the Greens. They probably wouldn't want me to join the Christian Democrats youth organization, but otherwise they were fine with it. The Greens youth wing was very critical of the recent coalition talks among the Conservatives, the Free Democrats and the Greens. Are you pleased that the talks collapsed? I'm not pleased about it, but I think that the talks showed that these parties are very different from each other. The Greens don't have a lot in common with the other two parties. That's why the Free Democrats decided that the differences among the parties were too great. And I agree with them. Our visions for the future and for ecological change are so different that it just wouldn't work. But your party leader, Cem Özdemir, moved closer to the other parties on migration and financial policy. Still, your youth wing said that a coalition wouldn't work at all. Did you feel betrayed? Did you feel that the party was ignoring your ideals? Well, we did realize that the Greens were giving up some of their ideals. They were prepared to really go a long way. But if that's not enough, then you have to say, no, this is not going to work. It simply won't work. The talks finally collapsed because Christian Lidner from the Free Democrats pulled out. You must be glad that, in the end, the Greens didn't have to make a lot of compromises. For me, it all comes down to the issues. There were still some green positions left in the package, but others had been dropped. The real question is, how much can you compromise to push through your agenda? I understand that you sometimes have to abandon certain principles. But it's bad for democracy if parties give the impression that they are making compromises only so that they can get into office or stay there. That's just what Lindner said about his party, the Free Democrats. What do you think of Lindner as a person? I don't much care for him. I don't really believe that he broke up the talks because he was sincere about his political agenda. Some people now say that his decision was very tactical and calculated. I don't think that Lindner is credible at all. You're from Heidenheim in Baden-Württemberg. 
The Greens make up 21 percent of the city council. The party is firmly established in the state. The state premier, Winfried Kretschmann, is a Green and governs in a coalition with the Christian Democrats. But you probably have more problems with Kretschmann than with Lindner. Absolutely not. Lindner leads a completely different party. The Free Democrats favor radically liberal economic policies and things like that. Yes, but you have said that Kretschmann sometimes makes you really angry. I think that within a political party it's important to have disagreements because that friction helps to develop political opinions. I think this is a big problem right now in our democratic society. There's not enough friction. There have to be debates. We can't say that we all support Europe or the environment 100 percent. We just saw that in the coalition talks. Even if the Conservatives say they want to meet the climate goals, it doesn't mean that they're actually going to do anything. That's the big difference. It matters what people and political parties think, and I believe that there has to be democracy within a party. I should be able to argue with Winfried Kretschmann to find the best way to implement green policies. He and I share the same goals. Mr. Kretschmann is in a coalition with the Christian Democrats in Baden-Württemberg. The Greens almost joined a coalition with them at the federal level. Would that have been your first choice? Of course not. There's a kind of fatigue right now. Angela Merkel has been in power for 12 years. She's about to begin her fourth term. But who will be the next chancellor? What can we offer as a democratic alternative? I think the left can provide some answers, but right now the Social Democrats and the left party are feuding, and the Greens are much closer to them when it comes to the issues. The Greens are not closer to the Christian Democrats than they are to the Social Democrats or the left party. We need an alternative to 12 years of Angela Merkel, something that tells people that we want a future based on solidarity and ecologically sound policies. We need parliamentary majorities that don't include the Christian Democrats. But the Greens need to join a coalition. In the last parliamentary election, they won just 8.9 percent of the vote. They're the weakest party in parliament. 91 percent of Germans didn't vote for them. What does that say about the party's future? I think that election results don't necessarily say much about the party or its future. Of course, our results were not particularly good. 2009 was better, but I still see plenty of potential. But the figures show that you're actually a party that represents a lot of high-income, environmentally-oriented voters. You're like a green, free Democrat party. At least that's what some voters think. That's true to a certain extent. But when there's too much pressure to find consensus, the Greens also have to offer alternatives to people who may earn less. People on welfare, for example. Alternatives? Well, there's more to it than saying we need to have an organic seal of approval on all products. Everyone should have access to organic products and a green lifestyle. It's absurd to say that organic food appeals only to an elite group that can afford it. I want healthy food to become standardized and affordable. There should be no separation between environmental and social justice policies. And some Greens have come around to that idea. That's where I see the party's future. Still, we have to be honest and admit that perhaps only 20 percent of people will vote green. But we have to speak to that 20 percent. If the rest don't like us, fine. 
Jim Özdemir said that he would step down after the party's poor showing in the election. He might be replaced by Robert Habeck, the deputy state premier in Schleswig-Holstein. The Greens govern in a coalition with the Christian Democrats there. What's your take on the situation? We'll have to see what happens in Schleswig-Holstein. So far, not much has happened. Habeck has only been in power for a few months. So let's see how he works with the Christian Democrats and Free Democrats. But as I said, it's dangerous for a democracy if all parties meet in the center and try to do what they can based on certain economic principles. Parties have to work out their differences. They have to say clearly what they stand for and what they're against. Parties have to argue. That's the only way that we'll be able to prevent extremist parties from getting stronger. You're 26 years old and working on your PhD. What are your goals for the future? First of all, I want to finish my PhD. How about a career in politics? Not necessarily. My first aim is to continue to study political administration. I'll see how that goes. I've got some time. But I'm passionate about politics. I want to be politically active and I don't have to make money doing it. I want to put my political ideals into practice and it doesn't matter how. Now at the end of our interview I'd like you to finish three sentences for us. Here's the first one. I've always wanted to tell Winfried Kretschmann that he should be more courageous and annoy more people. If Christian Lindner invited me for coffee, I'd tell him what's wrong with capitalism. In 20 years, I see myself hopefully in a better world. Moritz Heuberger, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.